Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Volvo XC90, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness. Honestly, I really like these Volvos. Uh, they're really versatile SUVs and people use them to do a little bit of everything, which does include pulling a trailer. And if that's what you plan on doing, you're gonna want the trailer lights to work. That way you're safe and legal. And so by using a wiring kit like this, this is definitely gonna accomplish that. Now what's nice about this setup is the wiring is actually stored on the inside of your Volvo whenever you're not using it. That way, you know, you don't have wiring hanging down back here. These things have a really sharp appearance to them. You know, they look good. So the less kind of hanging down below the Volvo, the better, at least in my opinion. But it's not gonna be difficult to get the wiring out whenever you are ready to hook up to your trailer. It's gonna open up your hatch can lift up on your floor covering and that's where your wiring can be stored so just grab that kind of straighten it out a little bit here and then we can just drape this over it's super long so we're gonna have a lot of length no issues connecting but the way it's gonna work is you're just gonna drape it over definitely want to stay away from the latch area and then you're just gonna close the hatch on it. Now that might seem kind of odd, like you're gonna damage a wiring or something like that, but that's not the case at all. This wiring's meant uh, to, to go through that and you're not gonna have to worry about hurting it or your Volvo. So this is a four-way flat connector. Really common, it'll work with a ton of different trailers. And even nowadays, um, light up accessories are getting popular, particularly cargo carriers. I mean, a lot of those will accept this type of wiring as well. So this will power those up at as well but you know at the end of the day well-built kit it's going to provide us with those functions that we need and is uh, going to get the job done now as far as the installation goes you know you might be thinking of volvo and wiring it's really complicated and that really wasn't the case um, everything's a little tight to work with but it is manageable and uh, really shouldn't give you a whole lot of issues speaking of which let's go ahead and do that together now to begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our Volvo and we're gonna be working on the inside. So we'll go ahead and open up our hatch. And then we need to remove any floor coverings that may be inside. So with this one, we can just lift up, pull out, and we'll set to the side for now. Now we can get rid of all the foam compartments. So these just lift up. You may actually have to take the side ones out first. We'll get those set aside. Take out the center one. Then we can remove, or uh, we're gonna need to remove this threshold here, this panel. So there's two bolts on each side. And we're gonna just loosen these up using an eight millimeter. We don't have to completely remove it because the panel's slotted. So we'll just kind of back those off a little ways. About like that. So when that's loose, you can grab your threshold here. And just kind of work it up. Pop it off and set it to the side for now. So over here on the driver's side, we're gonna have this access panel Get that out of the way. There's a quarter turn there. Just turn it, work it out. And what we need to do is locate the tail light connector plug, which is right up here in this area. So there's the connector plug. You need to disconnect it. So you can just push down on the center of it and pull it out. So that's what it's gonna look like. And there's that center tab I was pushing on. We can grab our T-connector and we want the end that has the brown, yellow, red, and white wires. And this is super simple. You can see one end of the T-connector is identical to our factory connector. The other end is a little different. This end will plug into our factory connector there. And then this side will simply just get plugged into the back of our tail light. So I went ahead and routed some of our wires 
I did the green, single green T connector wire as well as the four pole flat connector wire. There's a small gap right here. You can push it through there. The four way flat connector, we're just gonna kind of leave stuff there for now. The green one's gonna continue on along here over to the passenger side of our vehicle. Again, I went under. You will have to pop this tray out. I mean, it just lifts right up. And so I ran it through here. Now to get to our connector, the tail light connector, it's gonna be a little bit different, a little uh, tighter and more difficult to see, but what you're gonna do is flip that open and there's gonna be an eight millimeter bolt there. So we'll pull that out. whole thing will come off and then this corner piece we're actually going to kind of separate it so you can just kind of grab the bottom and work it up and you want to pull it out just enough that you're able to kind of get your hand behind there and get to the connector I went ahead and plugged in our green T connector over here on the passenger side and this is what it looks like it works the same exact way as the other side. It'll just disconnect the uh, factory connector from the tail light, plug in your T connector to it, the other side of the T connector into the tail light, and that'll complete the connection. Now we can grab our white wire back over here on the driver's side of our vehicle. It's gonna have a pre-attached ring terminal. This is going to need to get grounded to the body of our vehicle. So right in this area, I just cut out some of this carpeting that way we can get to the bare metal. You're going to take the provided self-tapping screw and get it secured. Really not a whole lot of great places to do this, so it is going to be a little bit of, a little tight, but that's all right. So I went ahead and secured our module box there to some factory wiring. Just use a zip tie to keep it uh, stable. And with that out of the way, we have one more wire to hook up. That's gonna be our power wire here, this red one. Wanna make sure that the fuse is not installed in the holder just yet. So I'm gonna set that aside. And on the positive battery terminal, you're gonna have a cover here. You can kinda just pry up on it, it'll pop off and we need to find a good place to attach our ring terminal. Really don't want to uh, mess with any of these places because there's fuses and everything else there. So I think we're just gonna go right to the positive post. So we'll take this nut off using a 10 millimeter. We can take our power wire I grab that ring terminal and slide it over the stud. Take our nut and simply tighten it back down. Now once this is tight, what we're able to do is actually install our fuse into the holder. So if you come back here, Open this up, grab the included fuse, push that in, and then close up the dust cap. Now it's a good idea to test our wiring before we put any panels back together. That way if there's any issues, it's a lot easier to get to. We suggest using a tester like this. That way if your trailer has problems, you know we can bypass that. We'll go ahead and try our left turn signal our right turn signal, our brakes, and our running lights. So now that we verified it worked, we simply just put everything back together the opposite way that we removed it. And with the four-way flat connector end, what I like to do is just keep that stored here by our spare tire. That way it's out of sight and out of mind whenever we're not using it, but still really easy to get to whenever, we ready, uh, whenever we're ready to use it.
And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness on our 2020 Volvo XC90.